got the negative out front here, kind of leave it alone. Minnetonka Public Schools has been as successful as they've been with technology, technology use, so on, uh, is that their approach has been very planful, it's been thoughtful, and it's had a strong professional development, professional support component to it. iPads are being used in a variety of ways in the elementary schools. One of the pieces that they're trying to really work on is getting away from just the drill and practice apps and using it more in a space of show what you know. So they're giving students apps that are more geared towards what we call like whiteboard space and also giving teachers a great view of that learner. I'm going to use real coins and you can use our symbols. Are you ready? Smartboard is an instructional tool that we've had for many years and it continually it's, it's a great tool because I find more ways to use it in my teaching. We talk about learning using all the senses. They're able to hear the, hear the lesson, they're seeing things, they're able to come up and manipulate things. So it's just, it's a great tool. We no longer have to stand at the front of the classroom to direct our class. Uh, the sound field solution allows you to move throughout the classroom, but also using tools like iPads and Splashtop allow us to still integrate with the, the smart board. When you think about using the iPad in a classroom, you don't think about using it in the music classroom. But we found some interesting ways to use it so that the students can benefit from having their iPad well in a music classroom. We've digitized all of our warm-ups in my class. Um, instead of having the students using paper, they're actually now using the warm-ups on PDFs using Notability to display them. What we found is that students will mark their music more often when they're using the iPad. In the middle school especially, we're trying to train kids to stay organized and on top of their work. Schoology is our learning management system. They have an assignments tab that keeps track of all of their upcoming. Um, they can look at the integration of their calendar. Students are really using that as a tool to say, what is my teacher assigned? The assignment is usually linked to it. They know when it was assigned, when, it, when the deadline is, and how to turn it in. The student learning is impacted by that immediate feedback because they don't have to wait for you know a week for feedback and learning how, that they did something wrong. They're able to take that feedback, change something, and keep moving with their process. We've seen steady growth in the frequencies of A's and B's as students have used this technology to, to move forward. We've also seen our struggling students uh, adapt and, and have much more positive outcomes, we believe, because of the technology access that they've had. But it doesn't happen just because of us, teachers in this district and incredible support staff that bring those pieces together. The technology tools provided are only as good as the staff development that supports it. In Minnetonka, we know that differentiated instruction spread out over the school year embedded into teaching is most effective. Every teacher receives four half days of training. All new teachers get basic introductory training on all of our systems each August. Every year we host a technology visit which allows our teachers to share what they have learned, which is of course the deepest form of learning. We're thankful for the opportunity to continue this work here in Minnetonka. We are extremely excited about what the future holds for our students. It's making my, my teaching more purposeful and more helpful to the kids.